all of them? I think so. What? Uh, honey, will you go look on that bas in the basket on the freezer and get those that garlic out and bring it to me? Thank you. Hey, hey, y'all. It's a little windy today, but we're out here. We're gonna plant garlic and onions today. This past season, and what I've always done is done onions in the spring. We're gonna try to overwinter them this year. So we're gonna do garlic and onions today. Garlic is probably one of the easiest things that you can grow. Put it in the ground now, just make sure you're putting it somewhere. Yes, ma'am, hey. Just make sure you're putting it somewhere that you won't need the space because it's gonna be there until midsummer next year. I got a little helper. Are you my helper? In that, um, in the basket on the freezer, there's two white bags with holes in them that's garlic. We ordered a couple of new varieties of garlic to try this year. I'll have to look and see exactly what they were. I think one's a hard neck, one's a soft neck variety. And then we have some of our elephant garlic, which is what Pawpaw's always planted, and I've gotten it from him. And we're gonna plant some of that as well. It's what we saved from what we planted this year. I didn't save as much as I had planned on, but we have plenty to plant for next year. Now we've decided that we're gonna plant down this side right here. Went back and forth on that. We planted it across the front of this garden space uh, this past year. But I think what I'm gonna do is plant it here. It won't overshade much. And what I can plant beside it is things that might like a little more shade. So I, th I think it's gonna work out for us. You never know until you try. So I think we're gonna plant it down this outside this year. We've got this German hardy and Transylvania garlic. These are supposed to be good store and I'd have to go back and look at all the, yeah, I think it's in there. I'd have to go back and look at all the information, but I know I was looking for a good store in garlic. And then we've got some yellow onion sets and then I'll have to go get the other out of the greenhouse. We don't have any true compost right now, but we did have some dirt that was over around the compost pile uh, where we had burned stuff before. So we brought some of that over here, as well as it just gives us some extra loose dirt. We've spread that out. Let's start planting. Well. Wow. We're going to put these in the ground. This will be the root side, so it's going to go down, pointed side, up. And we'll put them um, about five or six inches apart. We're putting them in and leaving them where we can see them for now so that we can come back and you'll make sure everything's spaced right. Then we'll cover them. We're gonna mulch this with pine straw because it's what we've got and it won't break down quick. It'll keep it covered during the winter. And if we have to, we can push it back in the spring, but they'll grow through it. So we got plenty of pine straw around here. So I think that's what we're gonna mulch over the top of this with. And so we know, if we come back to watch this, we planted Pawpaw's garlic up towards the front. It's the elephant garlic. Then we did the German, and then we did the Transylvania. Because the onions need a little bit of sun, if we get too far back in this row, I don't know if they're gonna get enough, so I think we're gonna plant them up here in this corner. Ooh. We're gonna get the soil getting loose for the onions. 
and we'll leave the top sticking up out of the ground. Chickens you don't want them. Oh, uh, chickens, you'll get out of the garden. Yeah. You don't want your onions too deep or the soil get too tight and they won't grow. We've been talking about it and I think we're gonna take some hay and cover pretty much this whole garden for winter. And you know, anything that I've got go growing for fall. <laughs> what I don't know. Anything I've got growing for fall, we can just put the hay around, but I don't have it right now. So that's why we're gonna use pine straw on what we're putting in today. The whole garden just really needs to be covered though for winter. So that's another project on the list. For these onions, we're just putting the root side down into the ground. We'll water them in and mulch them too. I need to get this carrier off, get me something to drink. And I think we're gonna start working on dinner. We're gonna do tacos tonight. Justin wanted to grill some chicken and some steak and do grilled chicken, grilled steak tacos. So I think we need to work on that. Everybody around here is getting hungry. Justin and the big kids moved the coop and run that was right here beside this one. They moved it while we were working on planting because Justin's about to start working on building a big chicken coop. He's gonna do it mostly out of pallets and we're gonna make one big coop and one long run for the chickens and he needed to move the run that was over here so that he had the space he needed to start working on that. And when they moved it, he noticed that the door of this run needed some more zip ties on it. So I came out here and did that. And they moved that one right there. The plan is to build one big coop here. And then the runs are going to go long ways in front of it with doors to get into the coop. The coop will be sitting on the back side of the run. So good. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. We're gonna eat dinner. I'm excited about these tacos. Justin did such a good job on grilling the meat for these. It is so good. I'm not sure exactly what he used. I think he used some of the Pioneer Woman seasonings on it. Oh, it's so good. I'd, I'd try some, you know. That's going to be all for today. It feels so good to have the garlic and the onions too in the ground. Good Lord willing, come summertime, we'll have some beautiful garlic and onions to harvest. Just got to let them do their thing. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Let's go eat.
Are you talking about your dad or, or uh, like, uh, Oklahoma State? Or, uh, no, you probably got what they call a stinger. It looked like a person. 